Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Eduardo. How's everything, sir? How's everything, people? Are you at home already? Uh, well, most of you, I think. Eduardo is already home. I can see. Yes, I am. Okay, cool. But what about the rest? Uh huh. Yesterday I had a problem with my father, and that's why I can. You couldn't get connected. I couldn't be connected. Ah, yes. okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw that, that you were not connected. Okay. But the good thing is that you're connected now, sir. That's what it really matters, okay? All right. What about the rest? Are you guys at home already? Good evening. Are you there? Are you go? Uh, are you on, on your way home? Uh, Mary's there. Hi, good evening, Mary. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Fatima. Glad you're here again, guys. All right, so I am going to start with the attendance list because we have a lot of things to do tonight. Give me one second. Oops, it's not moving this thing. Okay, now it is moving. All right, let's start over. Uh, Carmen Eugenia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think this person is not going to get connected. Uh, let me see who else. Christian Alejandro. Present. Ah, okay, there you go. Daniel Arquimedes. Present teacher. Okay, excellent, sir. Okay, Estela. Thank you for telling me. Uh, let's move. Daisy Maricela. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Elwin Alexander. Edwin Alexander. Okay, so he is not here yet. Elwin Vladimir. Well, Elwins are not here. Okay. Estela Mabel. Okay, Estela is going to be as a listener. Present teacher. Hi. Okay, no problem. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, good. Fatima Lourdes. Present, good evening. Hi, good evening. All right. Jaime Antonio. No, okay, so Jaime is not here. Jose Eduardo. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Carla Lisette. Hmm. Okay, so she is not here. Kenya Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. No second. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, excellent. Manuel Antonio. Mm -hmm. Okay, Manuel is not here yet. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, excellent. Mary Raquel. Present. Okay, great. Noemi Betsabe. Noemi, okay, so she's not here yet. And the last one, Osvina Alexis. Like, I saw Osvin there. Osvin, you there?
Okay, yeah, he's there, but apparently, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, he's busy right now. All right, guys. So we are going to start with the contents that we're going to be uh, working on tonight. Uh, let's remember, guys, if you're at home already, please try to turn on your cameras because uh, eh, it's not that good just to have three people with the cameras on. Okay. Are you, I would like to see you guys when we're, you know, participating in everything in the topics that we're going to be discussing. All right. But before starting with uh, the main topic that we're going to be continuing as part uh, that we were just doing yesterday, um, I would like to start uh, with a short feedback from what we were just doing last night. All right. And uh, what do you guys remember from last night? What were we discussing last class? Any volunteer? I didn't uh, be in last class, but uh, but I reviewed the video. Uh huh. Okay. And you're talking about uh, some exercise about. Mm -hmm. uh, Retail, uh, direct, direct, uh, direct, direct product, some, something like that. Okay. And uh, right. retailer, retail, mm -hmm. uh, direct channel, retail channel, and wholesale channel. Mm -hmm. I understood that uh, the direct channel. For example, is um, uh, a producer who make make made the, a product, and this product uh -huh. okay. going directly to the consumer. This is a direct channel. Okay. Uh, an example of that was. Uh, uh, Pepsi, I think, something like that. Mm -hmm. Pepsi made the drink or beverage, and this and take this from the factory to the consumer directly. Uh -huh. um, you're talking about about uh, Amazon, I think. Yes. Uh, and this is the, the example of retail channel because Amazon have many uh, producers and they mm -hmm. this retail the, the goods to the customer. Mm -hmm. And the other example was uh, Amazon again because Amazon made the Kindless software uh, hardware and they sell it directly to the customer with uh, from his platform online. Mm -hmm. I think uh, some something of that you do you you yesterday. Okay, yeah, we were discussing about that yesterday. Thank you for your participation, Eduardo. Very good. Uh, somebody else who wants to share? What do you guys remember from yesterday's class? Yes, teacher. In the last part, uh, we have we have talking about how to use expression of certainty. Ah, okay. That we're gonna continue today with that. Uh, we're yeah. gonna continue with mm -hmm. that. Okay, there you go. Good, good. All right, but if you guys remember, and I think it was pretty clear, as Eduardo was saying, we were just talking about at the beginning of the class. We were talking about the direct channel, retail channel, and wholesale channel which belongs to the distribution channels for consumers, you know, like the product, right? And as, as I was uh, saying, the direct channel, if you guys remember, it's basically when the producer of the product uh, sells directly, right, the, 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 the goods to the final consumer, right? If you guys remember. Then we had the retail channel, right? In which the producer 
sells big quantities of, uh, uh, you know, the products to the retailers and then retailers uh, sell them to the consumer. And then we have uh, huge quantities with the wholesale channel in which the producer, what they do is just to sell the products in bulk, all right, to the wholesale uh, or distributors, put it like that. And we were putting the examples of the companies that we were working on uh, and with uh, yesterday. And uh, here in El Salvador, we can take the examples of Walmart, in which Walmart buy a lot of things right in bulk. And they uh, and basically, the products are distributed among the branches that are in the country, right? So basically, that was a, uh, you know, like clearly short uh, feedback related to that with the distributions uh, channels. Actually, we will need that. We will be, you know, uh, working with that probably in the second hour. We need to finish a couple of things related to that as well. Okay. Uh, I wanted to show you something that was part of what we were just doing at the end of the class. Last night, give me one second. No. Okay, Yasmin, so you are having issues with your internet. Okay, just give me one second, guys. I want to show you something. Just for us to have, you know, like, like a feedback. Just to start with the main content. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna continue uh, with this topic. I wanna see like the distribution channels for a product. I'm gonna be working that uh, in uh, with this at the end, probably in the second hour. Okay, so let's continue with this. This is just for us to have a quick feedback. Okay, from the last part of the class yesterday, so. We're going to have the review from that. Then we're going to uh, check some certainty and uncertainty words that are in the manual. All right. That yesterday we're going to finish that part. Then we're going to practice a short conversation that we got in a page prior to, to the grammar part that we were explaining uh, last class. And then at the end, we're going to work on some activities there in the manual, including a chart that we got in. I think it's page 14. So let's just start over. Expressions of certainty, okay? It is really important for me, guys, that, that you got, you know, like the idea when to use it and how to use these expressions, okay? So that's why we're just going to review them right now, okay? And I, I do really want this to be clear for all of you. And I bring some extra examples. Uh, this is the ones that we were discussing uh, last night, of course. It says expressions of certainty. Fatima uh, Artiga, could you please help me out reading uh, those lines, please? Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, help me out reading. Ah, okay. Expressions of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Okay, there you go. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about expressions of certainty that can go, listen up, that can go right before the main verb. What is the function of an expression of certainty? What do you think is the function of an expression of certainty? Any maybe volunteer? Confirm. Maybe, maybe what, Fatima? Confirm something, I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. So like, it will be like confirm something, okay. Basically to assure something that happen something that is happening or something that is going to happen in the future right okay something like that you might confirm right now what it will be 
something related to the class, for example. How would you uh, make sure something related to the class? You guys remember the expressions that we were working on yesterday? Yeah, like obviously and. Um, uh -huh. Okay, just to help you up, I'm gonna show you one in, a, in an example. Check this out. Okay, we got this one. Daisy, help me out reading this one. Me, teacher? Yes, Daisy. Okay, yeah, I am obviously teaching English. Okay, cool. I am obviously teaching English. If you take a look in there, the expression certainty is right before the main verb. That in this case, it's what? It's the verb teaching. Okay, the verb teach. In that case, what are we doing in that case? As a... Uh, Fatima, yeah, Fatima said, basically we are doing what? We're confirming something. We are assuring something, okay? That in this case is happening at the moment. Because if you can identify that sentence is in present progressive, okay? What about this one? Christian, help me out reading, please. Students, sir, certainly pay attention to the grammar explanation. Okay, there you go. If you take a look in here, the word certainly, it goes right before the main verb, that in this case is the verb pay, okay? In which tense, in what tense this sentence is placed in here? Um, let me see who I can ask this. Jesus Christ, most of you got the camera and stuff. Okay, but anyways, uh, Daisy Maricela, in what tense that sentence is? Simple future, progressive, simple past. Present teacher. Okay, there you go. And simple present, right? Because in here we don't have any kind of auxiliary verbs that help out the main verb, just to put it like in progressive or, you know, in a future form, right? There you go. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, guys, that expressions of certainty can go right before the main verb, okay? This is just one uh, one part of it. Okay, we got another one here. Manuel, help me out reading this one, please. I, I, I naturally work every night. Okay, there you go. I naturally work every night. And we can use this one, right? Just to assure something for me in this case, for me. Now guys, can you give me an example, but personally for you, can you assure something for you related to your job or related to any other activity that you do at home? Okay, you can use any of these expressions that we got here or any other ones, the ones that we were uh, discussing uh, yesterday. Can you write down one example for me, but personal example? Okay. Okay. Try to do it, guys. Okay. Uh, I certainly uh, improve my English every night. Okay, very good. Thank you, Eduardo. There you go. Somebody else? Or did you guys need to write it down? Okay, that, that 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 is an option. You can write it down and then when you finish, you just read it. 
And when you have one, let me know and you can read. Remember a personal example that is true for you. Something simple mentioning one of the activities that you guys do. We're posting something. Uh, okay, Fatima, read it. That's correct, but read it. I am certainly taking notes about this class. Okay, there you go. Very good, Fatima. Thank you. Somebody else? Teacher. Yes, they I am obviously learning English. Okay, very good. I am obviously learning English. Very good. You're assuring something. Thank you, Daisy. Okay, you're welcome. All right, somebody else? Let me see who else wrote down here in the chat. What to do? Okay, following the pattern, Christian. Following the pattern, uh, the word, uh, the, the 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 word or the or the expression should go right before the main verb. So the sentence will be, "My boss will surely." come to the office in March, okay? So in that, case, in that case, surely it shouldn't go at the beginning. It can be right before the verb and after the auxiliary verb, that in this case is will. Okay, just try to modify that one and uh, we're gonna read that. Let me see, I'm getting it today, obviously. Mm -hmm. That way is good, Edwin Palma, but we can put it like right before the main verb. In that case, it will be like, I am obviously getting late today at home because of traffic. Okay. So in that case, it, following up the pattern that we got in here. Okay. That the expression goes before the main verb. Uh, Christian, after will. After will. Yes, between oh, will, okay. between will and come. Okay. Okay, I was seeing the the other exam. Sorry. Okay. All right. There you go. I guess most of you have already had it. Uh, let me see, Mary. Read yours, Mary. Yes. Celebrate. Read yours. Um, uh, I'm naturally tired when I drive all day. I am naturally tired. Okay, when I drive all day. Very good. There you go. Mm. Let me see. Good example, Daniel. <laughs> I'm reading them. Yeah. Okay. My, my example say everybody obviously celebrate women days today. Okay, yeah, by the way, I totally forgot to 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 congratulate you girls on your day. Congratulations to all of you. All right, ladies. Okay, just to co commemorate. This day as the International Women's Day. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's really nice. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man. 
you girls, uh, you, all of you are hardworking women, and that's really cool. That's really nice. I am surely trying my best at English and learning English. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay, I am truly trying. Very good. Let me see, Manuel. Obviously, I take care of my pet. Manuel, it will be. I obviously take care of my pet. Okay, because okay. we had to follow up in this case. What do I pretend is like to follow up the what it says in here? And it says that, for example, uh, the expression should be used okay. before the main verb, okay? Before the main verb, but after the auxiliary verb, if it is a future form, okay? In, in examples okay. like using will, the ones that you got there, okay? That way is correct, but in this case, uh, I want the expression right before the main verb, okay? Okay. There you go. So most of you Thank have you. written down in here in the chat. Let me see. Okay. I have, okay, good. Good example, Edwin Alexander. Let me see, Daniel Archimedes. Yeah, that one is a good example as well. Okay, thank you for the example, Carla. That was okay. Nice. I am obviously passing the traffic. I mean, very accident, but after the house. I'm mostly passing the traffic every day or going through the traffic every day. Thank you, Osbin. There you go. Ah, Jesus Christ. Traffic is horrible in, in, in San Salvador, in the surroundings. That's one of the disadvantages of, of going through the center or downtown there. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, guys. Good examples. Thank you for uh, the participation. And let's continue. I'm just want to let you know these things. Okay, now this is another way to set up this type of expressions. Okay, Osbin, help me a reading, please. Okay, in class, of course, and. In our likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, it says in close, of course, and in all likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. Listen up. Only when they go in the middle of a sentence. Okay, what does it mean? It means that these expressions can go at the end of a sentence or at the beginning of a sentence, and we just separate them with a comma, and that's it, okay? But in here, it's in both commas, in close in both commas. Check this out. Like an example I got here. Uh, Elwin Palma, could you please help me out reading the first example? Yes, sure. Okay. The boss is in all lighthood presenting the new budget. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, it says the boss is in all lighthood presenting the new budget. What is budget, people? Is money, <laughs> but basically money, right? It's basically the estimate money that a company pretends to use in one specific time, right? Like in a year time, for example. Okay, very good. That's what it is, budget. Okay, now the second example. Uh, Carla, help me a reading, please. Okay, can you listen to me? Can you listen to yes. me? Yes. Okay, okay. The students are, of course, Focused in the class. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay, it says the students are, of course, focused in the class. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody 
even though with the cameras off, are focused in the class. Okay, very good. Now, using the word of course, do you still remember, right? What does uh, in all likelihood mean? What does in all likelihood mean? We were practicing that one yesterday. What does it mean? That expression. It means con toda la probabilidad. Okay, con toda probabilidad. All right. Good. Very good. Now, guys, whether using in all likelihood or using of course, could you give me one example, one personal example for you guys with this class? Only with this class. We're going to be uh, narrowing the topic. Could you please give me one example, one personal example using something from the class? You can write it down on the chat in here. Okay? Write it down and I will read it. A personal example related to the class. Okay. The teacher are, uh -huh. of course, no, the teacher, if, of course, uh -huh, take notes great. about my, take notes about my uh, participation. The teacher, class. the teacher. The teacher is, of course, taking notes. Taking about notes, very good, about. My participation in class. Very good, Edwin. Very good. That's a very good example. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna read the first one. It says, Fatima, I will do my homework in a likelihood before Tuesday. Why before Tuesday, uh, Fatima? I remember it's... that the last day to to do the homeworks in the platforms is Tuesday. Uh, not actually, Friday. Ah, okay, Friday. <laughs> yeah, so Friday. in I like you on Friday. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you for the example. Okay, uh, let me see. Mary Raquel, Mary is, of course. Of course, with double comma, remember? Of course. Interesting. In this case, it will be interested. Okay. Interested in improving her English. Okay. That will be better, Mary. Mary is, of course, interested in improving her English. That will be better. Thank you. Let me see, Eduardo says the teacher is, of course, taking notes about, ah, yeah, the, the first one I, 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 anyway, thank you, Zor. Let me see, Edwin says, I don't have connected my camera. Of course, I'm paying attention. Okay. Remember, I don't have connected my camera, comma, of course, comma, I'm paying attention. Yeah, it is correct, Edwin. Uh, the only thing is that is missing one, one extra comma there, okay? That's the only missing part there. And uh, Edwin Alexander says, can I make... <laughs> yes, Edwin. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening. Uh, of course, and in no likelihood, can be used uh, uh, of beginning the sentences. Yes, I, I was saying that that you can use it at the beginning of at the beginning of a, a sentence or at the end of a sentence. The only difference in there is that it's divided with a comma, but when you put it in the middle, it's divided with two commas. It is enclosed with two commas. You can put it at the beginning as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Let me see if you can discuss is in a likelihood going to help us improve 
expressions of certainty. Okay, good example, Carla. Thank you. My mom is, of course, the best. Uh, in this case, cooker. ER is missing, Daisy. Okay, because you're talking about a person there. Like this. Cooking teacher. No, cooker. No. You're no. referring to a person. Or what do you want no. to, to, to say with that? How to how, how to grind cook cooker. No, I don't know, teacher. Uh, I wrote it in the chat. You saw it? Because cooker is a person, cocinero, cocinera. Uh -huh. What do you want to, 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 to mean with the, your sentence? It says, my mom is, of course, the best. It will be, it will mm -hmm. be good, the best at cooking for me. Uh -huh. The best at cooking. At Como cooking. La mejor cocinando. Okay. Oh, okay. Or if you want to say la mejor cocinera, it will be the best cooker. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. I ever meet. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. I got uh, okay most of your sentences. Okay. Perfect. There you go. So remember. When you use expressions in the middle, generally we enclose them with both commas, right? We are in all likelihood speaking English at the end of the module. Okay, very good. Thank you, Daniel. Actually, you are speaking English already. That's pretty cool. It is, it is really nice and it's really uh, amazing that like you guys been on an intermediate level and you got a good level of English. That's really nice. It's really nice. My mom is at cooking. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Daisy. Okay, guys. Okay. So let's move on. Now we got this one. Okay. Check this one out. It says, sometimes expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. For example, check this one out. This one generally goes at the beginning. Uh, Noemi, help me out reading the first one. Um, sometimes, sometimes expressions of certain certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentences. Example? Example, surely my students are going to connect to the class. Okay, surely, thank you. How do thank you, you pronounce surely? Uh, surely, surely. Surely, okay. There you thank go. You. Okay, very good. Surely my students are going to connect to the class. Okay, what am I doing in that case? I am assuring that you guys are connected now, okay? So I am affirming something. There you go. Now, take a look at this one. Okay. Daniel, help me reading this one. Okay. Naturally, everybody participates in class. Okay, very good. Naturally, that's another expression that we can use as an expression of certainty. Okay. Very good. So now, I think we have understood this part. Now, let's look at the last part because then we're going to move on in the manual. Check this one out. The same expressions that we can use it at the at the beginning, in the middle, 
we can use it at the end of a sentence. For example, okay, look at this. Fatima Lourdes, help me out reading this one. Actually, this is in the examples. Uh -huh. They will connect on time, of course. Okay, there you go. The expression goes at the end. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. And we got the last one. Okay, let me see who can help me out with this one. A couple of listeners. Kenya. Are you there, Kenya? Hi, yes. Okay. Help me read in the last example. The last. Traffic yes. jam is uh -huh. horrible. Every morning, doubles. Lunch. Doubles. Okay. Very good. Okay. And you have an extra participant trying to speak English. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Yes. Luna. Nice. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night, Luna. <laughs> okay. Very good. So there you go. So we got this type of expressions at the end of a sentence. Okay. What was doubtless, people? What is doubtless? In Spanish, sin duda. Sin duda. Okay. Very good. Okay. Or without a doubt. Exactly, <laughs> without any doubt. Okay, very good. So I think everything is okay with you guys on this. Now I want we to go right on the menu. Okay, let's go and open up the page 12 in your manuals. That's the page that we were working in last night okay good we're gonna go over here on that one look at this in here it says per work divide the list in two categories we got expressions of certainty in here and expressions of uncertainty which is the opposite it says word that express certainty and those that express uncertainty, okay? So that it's the opposite. And once we are assuring something, affirming something, and the other ones are basically the opposite, okay? What are we going to do here? Easy. We are going to place in here the certainty words, the positive ones, and the negative ones, we're gonna place them in here, in the uncertainty box okay when you guys finish this part i want you to move okay to the exercise six where it says write a sentence for each of the certainty expressions and put them in here okay for you not to feel like that is too much i am going to send you to work in pairs okay so you can have those uh, discussion sentences in person there, okay? Don't try to be like, like uh, do one and one. Now do, for example, if Eduardo is working with Mary, uh, the same that Eduardo has in number one, Mary can have it as well, can has it as well, okay? With no problem. Good, so let's remember, exercise five, Organize the words and then write down examples in here only using certainty words on here. Okay. Now, I want to know who's as a listener right now and who can participate in the activity. Let me see. Edwin Alexander, I think you can participate. Uh, let me see. Fatima Artiga, you're okay to participate, right? Can yeah, you guys sure. confirm? Okay, perfect. Edwin Palma, Kenya. Uh, can you participate? Sure, teacher. Okay, perfect. 
I guess Kenya can participate as well. She was participating on here. Um, let me see. Lorena Beatriz, Maria Gabriela, and Estela. You cannot participate, right? Because you are placed yourself. I guess you got it. Okay. I, I guess you won't participate, but I am going to include you girls in the breakout rooms, okay? So you can listen your classmates uh, to discuss this. Okay, just give me one second. I am going to recreate the groups. And I am going to assign them manually. Okay, perfect. Now I got them all. Okay, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's do those exercises there in the manual, people. Uh, okay, you close the invitations. Give me one second. I will send you up again. Okay, give me one second, Eduardo. Number four. I'm going to move you from here to number three, and then I'm going to move you again. Give me one second. Okay. Accept it, please. Now to number four. All right. Elwin Alexander, are you there? Hola, teacher. Fíjese que sí, aquí estoy, pero. Eh, tengo que levantarme justo ahorita de mi escritorio porque estamos preparando una auditoría para la mañana, entonces eh, por momentos me estoy levantando y por eso no estoy así como que muy activo. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, ok. Pero lo sí que estoy voy... pendiente de la clase porque tengo los speakers así. En... Ok, ah, perfecto. Ok, lo que voy a hacer bueno. entonces nada más es moverlo a un breakout room y lo puede, se puede poner de oyente para eh, mientras usted está, está trabajando, ok. Ok, perfecto. Voy a mover a su, y voy a mover a su compañero para otro, otro breakout room que pueda trabajar. Ok, gracias. Perfecto. Ok, no problem. Let me see. Perfect. So the first one is certainly in, in the first space. Supposedly, I guess that is on uncertainty. In Spanish, uh, it's como como supuestamente supuestamente ajá uh ajá -huh. uh -huh. Not, okay. naturally okay. 
Maybe it's certainty. It, it might break point. Okay. Well, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, it's the first sign that I uh, read and watch that, uh, well, uh, those words, for example, that one that it says, and like, likelihood. Uh -huh. So this, this topic that, that we are talking about right now, uh -huh. I think uh, this is my first time studying this. Uh -huh. How 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 to use it and how to write sentences, just just things like that. I don't know if yeah yeah, it's kinda, and I don't know if it's easy for you too. Well, um, I think yes. It's, okay. It's not so easy, but it, it, well, the first the uncertainty words I have all the uncertainty words, and you can work with the uncertainty. I don't know. Well, in this case, I, I don't have the work right now because I'm talking to you through the phone. So I don't know if you using the phone too or, or your computer. I'm using my phone because I don't have a computer. Okay. We're in the same too. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, in, I think, through the phone is, is more complicated, right? Yes. Well, but I Na have... naturally tomorrow I will uh, get up early. Uh -huh. Okay. Now with, of course. Of course. Mm. Today is the International Women's Day, of course. That's okay. Mm. Um, we obviously Mainly, uh, okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> we finished uh, the first time, the first part, and now we are writing a sentence. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, Manuel. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Certainly. Ah, certainly. Yes. Yeah. Certainly. It's different. Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, I tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will. I I will write the report. I will. Write. write. No, write. Right is right, right, yeah, yeah, right to report. To report. Hmm. Let's check the, the, the that that sentence. Correct. Let's check it's the correct. sentence. Let's check the sentence. Okay. I'm for certainly for example, you got I am. And then you had the word certainly, right? Yeah, is is okay. is that okay. uh, um, only uh, certainly I will write to report. Certainly I will write to report. The 
dumb. I guess I guess you want to write. Mm, not actually. Uh, in there, you don't need a comma. Oh, okay. You don't need a comma. And let me tell you why. Because in there. Tomorrow. Actually, in there, you need to erase a couple of words. You need to delete a couple of words. And the correct form, yeah. it will be, listen, I, okay. will, I will certainly okay. write the report tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because if you remember that if you put it in the middle, if you put the expression in the middle, it has to be between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. And the auxiliary verb there is will. So, and okay. the main verb is write. So, like right. that, I will certainly write uh, the, the report, actually. The report, the report tomorrow. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, teacher, I I have a question. Uh -huh. is, is, is only only the auxiliary verb is, uh, uh, is before the... The, the the words certainly naturally of course and and the principal verb is next to the next to the the word before the word mm -hmm. okay before when Teacher. you're using an auxiliary verb like like for example a future form okay okay uh -huh. okay mary Did you, uh, do you have uh the form i don't know if it's correct to say that <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, um, I remember when I was in a, a level one or two, we, we, we saw the, the form. The expression is where you put the expression plus yeah. member plus complement. Okay. If you can use an a, a, a formula, it will be like this. Oops, what happened? Ah, there. Uh, it will be like this. Okay. In the in uh you write in a chat. Uh, no, in, in on on the oh, screen. No. On the uh, screen. Yeah. On the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the yeah. screen. I can say. <laughs> I can say. <laughs> Thank you. you. Say it now, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <it's> there. <laughs> okay. Um the the next sentence we we have to you or I have to use uh whatever word. Yeah, you can use it, uh, the words that you uh, that, that are there. The words that you wrote in the certainty. Those are the ones that you're going to make one example for each one of them. You got okay. certainly, naturally, of course, obviously, doubtless. And you can put uh, the position. It doesn't matter. It depends on you guys. It, it can go okay. at the beginning. It can go in the middle or it can go at the end of the sentence. Okay. 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 Very good. Thank you. Thank you, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay. Next, next sentence is... In class. In the class. Yes. Okay. And the last one. Um of course. Of course. Of course in the last. In the in the last one. Um Mm -hmm. 
hai ba oh oh pongamos otra rápido puede poner the teacher is naturally very professional <laughs> okay qué pusiste are you saying that because I am here or baby what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, repeat the sentence, please. Um, the teacher is naturally very uh, professional. Good example. <laughs> the teacher is naturally. Sin H, teacher. Uh, yeah. Naturally. Naturally, very professional. The teacher is. Uh -huh. Coma. Guys, I guess you came back in here because you finished or because uh, you got in internet problems. Fatima and I finished. Ah, you're finished already. And okay. I have a problem with my connection mm. after that. Okay. All right. Uh, what about you, Kenya? Hi, I am beginning. Ah, you, you, okay, you're starting. Okay. Yes. Good. So your classmates are, are your classmates are working on this one, in this part. They are classifying the words, these words, words that express certainty. The positive ones, they are put them in here, and the words that expresses uncertainty, they are put them in here. For example, one word that expresses certainty in here, it will be, for example naturally and a word that expresses uncertainty over here it will be for example that's one okay so that's what they are just doing and they are about to finish actually okay and they're just going to come back if you okay. want you can you can start doing this while they are coming okay okay Okay, perfect. Let me check on them. I'm just gonna see if they have already finished. Yeah, <laughs> boys, have you finished? Oh, no, no. not yet. Why not? Oh, yeah, we, we are in the sentence. Ah, in the sentences? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Don't complicate with the sentence. You can do it personal. Okay. Oh, personal. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's oh, not necessarily okay. have to be like like so sophisticated. You know. No, you can put it like your own daily activities. Something that might be true for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We. You finish? Hi, yes. Hi, okay. Okay, perfect. Let me see. I got this. Okay, I'm, I, I guess most of it, uh, the classmates are already finished. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah, I guess all of them have already finished. So let's try to go back, okay? See you there. Okay.
Okay, so most of you are coming. All right, guys, don't forget to turn on your cameras. I feel alone when you all are with the cameras off. Ah, there you go. Okay, cool. Now, let's check, guys, what you have. Okay. Now we're gonna look at the words that expresses a certainty and the ones that expresses uncertainty, okay? Good, so let's just start over guys. Let's do it all together. So let's see what, what, what you have here. I'm gonna put it in here, okay. Christian. Give me one word expressing a certainty that you wrote in here. Um, wait. <laughs> I I wake up early every day. Uh, no, no, obviously. no, no. No, give me one word. Uh, we are right uh, just the word in the chart. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, obviously. Okay. Oops. Obviously. Okay. Very good. They. Thank you. Daisy, give me another one. Of course. Of course. Okay, very good. There you go. Uh, Eduardo, give me another one. Eduardo. Doubtless, doubtless. Okay. Doubtless. Doubtless, okay, very good. That's another one. Oswin, give me another one. Uh, obviously, mm. uh, naturally, yeah. naturally. Okay, very good. Naturally, all right, we got that one. Edwin Palma. Uh, of course. Yeah, we got oh, of course sorry. there. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, certainly. Okay, very good. Certainly. Okay, very good. Uh, is there any other one that might be missing in here in this category, guys? Oh, this ones are all of them. Possibly. These are all of them? Possibly. Um, um, Possibly. Do you think possibly no, is a certain word? Pre 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 Which one? Uh, pre Fatima and I think uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we miss presumably teacher. Apparently, uncertainty. Apparently. Mm. No, for me, it's finished certainty. The other words are an yes, uncertainty. Only that. For example, if I say like apparently for a certainty word, for example, if I say, um, I'm going to use, uh, ah, the one that is just right getting the camera on, Maria. Just imagine, I guess, Maria was not participating in the class. Apparently, she might be working. I'm sorry, I was on way uh, home, but um, I arrived like five minutes ago. So okay. I'm so sorry, but I didn't hear that, that, that nope, example. Nope, no problem. I just put in you as an example, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Is that expressing uh, certainty or uncertainty? 
now that she has that she has said her 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 reason why she is uh, getting the camera on and everything and i said listen up and i said uh apparently she was working but she said that she was on the way home okay so that's why she was not participating so actually i was wrong what i was doing assuming something okay so in that case it cannot be a certainty word because i was not sure about the reason why she got the camera off so in that case it it is not there as fatima i think he was that said that these ones are the ones that goes in here. These expressions are the only ones that expresses certainty. Okay, now, but let's write down the ones that expresses uncertainty here. Manuel, give me one. You have the microphone now, Manuel. Sorry, sorry. Um, presumably, Presumably, okay. Probably. Okay, there you go. Probably. Okay. And the other one? Supposedly. Supposedly. Okay. Supposedly. Okay. What is supposedly? Supposedly. What is that? Supposedly. Supposedly. Okay. That's like apparently. Okay. Like supposedly. Okay. We can put it like that as well. Okay, nice. Is, is it missing anyone else? Let me see. Presumably, probably, possibly, supposedly. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah, apparently. apparently. Okay. Apparently. Okay. Apparently. And apparently. Okay, we got them in here. So these ones are the ones that expresses uncertainty. Okay. Good. The ones that you're going to provide each other is going to be the ones that you created, guys. The sentences that you created on here. Give me one second. I'm gonna eliminate this one. So here, the sentences that you that you did in here. I will randomly ask to some of you to read the ones that you got here. For example, uh, Noemi, could you please help me out reading one sentence that you and your partner uh, did? Please. Yes. Um, Douglas, the traffic is horrible all the day. <laughs> every day, yeah. I mean, traffic is horrible every day. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Edwin <laughs> Palma. Number one. Today we are, of course, Learning a new topic in English. Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. Uh, Manuel. Sorry, is of course, of course, I I like to play. I like play, to play soccer. Of course, I like to play soccer. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it came right on time to your mind, right? Okay, no problem, sir. Thank you, Daisy. You can read the ones that you did, okay? That that's that that's what I'm asking for. Learning English. Uh, I'm sorry. Can, can can you repeat that again, please? We all obviously learning English. Okay, we're all obviously learning English. Okay, good. Thank you, Daisy. Oswin? One sentence that you and your classmate created. Uh, tomorrow, of course, 
will be in class in class tomorrow of course will be in class mm. it's missing it sounds like it's missing the subject there for example ah. tomorrow okay comma i and what was the expression that you were using yes i of okay. course ah okay i of course oh i will be because you, you you mentioned will i will of course be in class in class, in class. there you go and you're applying in that case the 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 rule that says that in this case, the expression goes after the auxiliary verb, that in, in this case, it will be will, and before the main verb, okay? That, okay. Will, that will be uh, better. Thank you, Osbin. Eduardo, give me one. From the ones that you did. Eduardo? You there? Yes, I am. Okay. It says, Since I work in a bakery, mm -hmm. bakery, uh -huh. I eat more bread. Doubtless. Okay. Okay. I eat more bread. Doubtless. Okay. All right. <laughs> you go. Okay. Thank you for your example. But yeah, I know that you were not like participating on this, but can you choose uh, any of those expressions and give me one example? Uh, naturally, a mom will always fight for their ki for her kids. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Let me see. Daniel, give me one, mister. Okay. Doubtless tomorrow will be a nice day. It will be a nice day. Okay. I'm hoping tomorrow will be a nice day. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Daniel. Now, uh, <laughs> okay. Very good. Fatima Artiga. Right after Fatima, uh, it's going to be, e, 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 let me see. Fatima Lourdes. Then Carla. Okay. Yeah. These are the ones that I'm missing, practicing. Okay. Fatima? Uh, with... With... What word? Or it's... Uh, no, read the, the one of the examples that you and your classmate uh, wrote. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm. I'm naturally a very serious person. You're naturally a very serious person. It doesn't sound like you're a very, uh, <laughs> okay. like that. Okay. But it's okay, it's okay to say or, or no? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. What I'm okay. saying that, 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 that uh, you're expressing uh, something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. But if you say that you're serious, it's because you're serious. Okay, there you go. I won't contradict you. All right, uh, let me see. Uh, Fatima Lourdes. Okay. At uh, the end of the day, I certainly need to share my phone. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Carla? Are you there, Carla? Carla, are you there? You went to sleep? Okay, so probably she's doing something else or probably she fell asleep. I'm talking about that. In the last module that I uh, I was teaching on on uh, January, it happened something to to one of the uh, participants I was working with. 
this person was so tired that she just she just like pointed like this at the desk and uh, she was participating right after her participation she just put it like this and for real she fell asleep on the uh, on on the class for uh, the last hour okay. that that was a hard working uh, person and then she was still at the job i don't know how she did it Whoa, her. okay good so we were just finishing this part uh, people now if you remember we haven't done this one over here okay and this is just a short conversation to practice listen in this case we're just going to do it in here we're not just going to go to the breakout rooms we're going to do them in here but what we are going to go and discuss in the breakout rooms there's going to be this couple of questions related to this let's try to practice this short conversation we got in here i'm gonna read it first and then i'm gonna look for a a pair of you to help me out with the practice it says ed and philip are discussing the sales of their ice cream take turns and says practicing the conversation with a partner it says ed the business is going well i never thought our ice cream will sell like this philip says yeah the booth listen up the booth is always packed with people we have to set our own ice cream shop and says we don't know anything about running our own business or our own store in this case philip says let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown certainly he will want to buy our incredible our incredible ice cream okay from here from this very short conversation do you have any question with the vocabulary any word that probably is unknown for you or you don't know uh, i am known the but 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 okay but in this case like in spanish it's like puesto okay el puesto de venta okay that is a both un puesto any other word okay i guess uh, uh, the rest of the words are no uh no for you okay uh, what is the meaning of the bath the word both the word both uh, uh, the word both is like like for example let's suppose you got uh, a franchise of uh what sarita for putting like as an mm -hmm. example okay and you find a, a place a small place mm -hmm. a local so that local it is a booth like un puesto but they said that they don't have a now own ice cream shop okay it says listen the booth is always packed with people so in here literally it says like el puesto siempre está lleno de gente ah uh, pack okay pack okay, is gen okay exactly packed with people it means full of people mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it says we have to set up our own ice cream <coughs> shop ah uh, tenemos que set what is set our own sh uh, ice cream shop how do you interpret that one um tenemos que poner nuestra poner tienda. Mm -hmm. okay de lados right okay okay it goes that way there you go now i want some participations christian and uh, daisy could you please help me out practicing this short conversation i want to listen to you guys sure sure uh i can be the first one okay let's go okay 
the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, our incredible ice cream. Okay, thank you, Christian and Daisy. Now, Eduardo and Noemi. Help me out, guys. Okay, I'm Ed. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the, man the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay. Thank you to you both guys. You did it excellent. Now, Manuel and Mary. Sorry, I'm it. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the pot is always packed with people. We have to sit our our ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Manuel and Mary. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Maria and uh, Daniel. Um, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will set like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let us the manager of the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he we want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Now, Elwin Palma and uh, Fatima Artiga. Okay, I will start. Okay. The business, the business is good. Well, I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the food is always packed with people. We have to serve our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, very good. Thank you, Edwin and Fatima. You did it excellent. Now, um, Oswin and uh, Kenya. Okay, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let us the manager and the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you did it excellent. Uh, let me see. Edwin Alexander, are you there? Can you participate, sir, or are you busy? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Uh, can you help me out practicing with Fatima Lourdes? Okay, uh, I'm El. All right. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream 
wolf fell like this? Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop down, downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, there you go. Very good, guys. Let me see. Carla, you there? Carla? No, okay, I think she's busy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I okay. think you were not there. Okay, Carla. Okay. You want to be Ed or Philip? Okay. Ed. Okay. You're going to practice with me because uh, I think Lorena is not there. All right, let's do it. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream world say like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We had to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, there you go. Now, a couple of questions just to, you know, like to discuss in here with you guys. The first one, it says, what channel of distribution is Philip suggesting? According to the conversation, you remember that we got three channels of distribution, direct channel, retaining channel, and the wholesale channel. According to the conversation, which channel is Philip suggesting in this case? Direct channel. Uh, Direct channel. Yes, uh, Philip why? is to just direct channel. Why direct channel? Because they want to put the own ice cream shop and sell uh, direct to the clients. Uh -huh. okay. In the first, in the first uh, sentence, mm -hmm. he refers to the direct channel but at the end he maybe changed the objective and apparently it's a retail channel retail channel why a retail channel because they will they will sell to the manager of the shop in the downtown, his product. But uh, the manager might be a final consumer as well. Don't you think? Yes, that's why I'm saying that he's a uh, retail uh, uh, actually, channel. I actually, it's uh, what you said at the beginning. Uh, ah, I changed, oh, oh. I, I changed oh, oh, my opinion with, uh -huh. because in the first sentence, he talking about a uh, set up mm -hmm. or own ice cream shop. And mm -hmm. they refer to have a, a, a direct channel, but in the other uh, sentence, he talking about sell the product to the manager in the downtown. That's mm -hmm. why I changed my opinion from the first to the retail channel. Mm -hmm. I got your point. Elwin? Uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, this guy that they're talking about, about uh, ice cream, uh, uh, well, in my opinion, it could be that they are mixing the, the, the channel, the distribution channel. Because at the beginning, they say, La, the business is going well. So then Philly said uh, that they should uh, put their own business. So I think uh, they are the producer, but uh, in this case, 
uh, they are like our tail channel because they are they are selling the their product to an, another shop, but they want to run her own their own business. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, it makes sense. Okay, very good. Any other participation, guys? Any other idea? Okay. Originally, in this case, they're talking about a, a direct channel, but they end up in a mixing channel. Okay. In a mixing channel that it goes a, or include a retailer in that case. All right. Do Ed and Philip know how to run a store? Do they don't know they how to know. run? No, they okay. don't. Don't they know? It, 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 what they were saying is like they don't know how to run a store, right? Okay. And what about the last one? Do you think Philip's suggestion uh, will help the business grow? Do you think they, 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 the business will grow with this kind of suggestion? The, the suggestion no. that Philip said, mm -hmm. uh, uh, can, uh, obviously, uh, become, uh, it's good. I don't know, I, 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 I lost it. Uh -huh. yeah. the sentence, but I think it's okay. I think it's, it's a good su suggestion to, to grow out uh, the new business. Okay, because they might increase the sales on that, right? And uh, in this case, the manager of that ice cream will request big quantities of ice cream, right? I think, I think I think the, the the manager in the ice cream in the downtown, mm -hmm. uh, he have many years in the business, and it's a it's an opportunity from them to mm -hmm. present the mm -hmm. uh, the the new product, uh -huh. or, or, and after that uh, they can they can probably open. Mm -hmm the the new shop new, new own shop own business ah, okay good thank you for your participation guys listen for the final activity we're gonna be working on groups i'm not gonna uh, send you to work in person i'm gonna send you to work in groups so that case you can share more you can practice more you can you know participate more what do I really want now as the last activity? Listen up. I want you to think on a business that you will set up. Let's suppose you as a group are entrepreneurs and you want to set up a business, okay? And now I want you to set the name of the business that you want to set and what that business will sell, okay? That, and at the end, I want you to choose which channel of distribution will you use in order to make your business improve, okay? Set up the name of the business, set up the product that you want to sell on your business, and then select the channel of distribution or channels, if you want to make a mix of distributions that you will use in order for your product to be sold. Okay, good. Do you understand what we're going to do? Or do you have any question? No questions? Okay, perfect. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going to assign the new manual.
Okay, let me see. Okay, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Oops, 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 oops. let me see. We are okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking about in a barber shop, a barber store, but it could be a service in not in and not a product. It, it's like a difficult to, to present, maybe. So we can think about a, a food store because it's easy. Maybe. Yes, no problem. And select the distribution channel. Recording in progress. We need to build a, a, a company, name the company, and uh, select a channel. Something like that. So, okay. give ideas. Okay. What product would you like to sell or choose? Do you have any idea? Something easy to sell or uh, produce? Food. Food. What kind of food? Maybe Mexican food. Mexican food. Okay. And we're. Is. Easy. Mm. You can you can you can cook in your house maybe. Uh, I don't know cheesecake and and sell the people. <laughs> yeah, actually that's what I was thinking about desserts because yeah. uh, it, I think it's like easy to to sell. Probably you can start setting to your uh, friends, to your um um hood. I don't remember the whole the, the word to your hood to friends or family. Yeah, and you can uh like earn some money on the booth that you're instead of rent, you can sell it from your home. Yeah, maybe we can think about um healthy desert. Because for the obesity, tomorrow we, we celebrate the, the um, obes uh, International Day Obesity. I don't know if it's correct. And maybe a desert, a healthy desert. That's my day tomorrow then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? And Jesus Christ. I got how many groups I had? I got three groups. And the three groups are going to talk about food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's okay. The, the, the good thing is that you got different ideas in comparison to the other ones. That's nice. Okay, let's continue. Set up the name of the company, set up the kind of food that you're going to sell, and which channels of distribution will you choose in order for your products to be sold. Okay? Let's keep up working. Okay. Okay. Like um clothes sending uh, selling clothes um i think it's okay uh we we can we can buy some goods to the manufacturer and we can distribute this distribute 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 Distribute. distribute these goods to the to the retailers. I don't know if you if you okay. talking about 
Yeah. I think if we select uh, a shopping center, but what got a name is are you thinking about our business, our our shop, our shop center? We need to select a name. Maybe because maybe because it's uh, a little company. I don't know. Um, we could say that we are uh, an interpret, inter, uh, how do you pronounce that word? La, that we saw <laughs> days ago. Interpret, sorry, how? <laughs> Interpreters. Interpreter. We can say that we are that kind of business. Yeah, what more? Give more ideas, please. We can sell the food in... In a food like... Sorry? We can, we can sell... Uh, the... it's, uh, I think so, it's about is the... the... Uh, I don't know. Is is the important is the important beverage and and in the morning it I think so it's about uh, it's about is the is the the healthy el saludable algo así the healthy. El, um, el, el mañanero saludable, algo así. Um, okay. <laughs> you're talking about food? Or what? Yeah. Yeah, ah, I think ah. you're talking about food. The, and the, the food for beverage. Ah, um, okay. Okay, food and beverage. Yes, beverage. Okay. Natural juices, yes. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. We okay. are thinking about the name. <laughs> the monkey. I, I I'm agree with the, with the name that said that Maria Gabriela say. Um, not healthy to go, right? I'm agree. Healthy yes. to go. Mm -hmm. healthy. healthy to go. Okay. Healthy to go. Healthy to go. To go. Okay. About the distribution channel, we can do like both, like the red or probably the third, three of them. Uh, first of all, uh, selling direct to the client. Distribute. What channel we select to distribute our products? I think can be retail channel. Retail channel. Retail channel. Yes, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah. Are you agree, Christian? Mm, if we'll be if we will be a distributor, maybe it's wall sale. Because we will buy the the cloth to another fact to a to a factory. After that, we we will see in the stores that they gonna buy our clothes, and after that, they gonna sell my uh, our clothes. So it will be a wholesale. sale. Yeah. Mm, yes, uh, but we can use a mixer. Mixer. Okay, mix all the channels. Yeah, mix channel. Mm 
Hi, we already finished. Oh. Nice, nice. You finished already? Okay, so we're going to just wait for the other two groups because they are just still discussing the, 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 the channels they are going to use. No, okay. All right. I I think um maybe only one what uh, about the distribution channel I maybe can be direct channel and retail because the the third option are more complicated. Okay. I don't know, but I think uh, can choose direct channel and retail channel. I think. Okay, I'm agree to <laughs> if if the, right. the the second option for me is good. Yes, I am agree too. I agree. Yeah. Um how what kind of companies uh, will be sell the products only for a small stores or or be a store, I don't know. If it's a direct, maybe a small stores. I think the direct is when you sell it direct to the cost to the consumer the with, cost. without using any any other um group or person. Okay, and so uh -huh. it's retail. A uh, retail is when you use another company or person. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they sell direct to the consumer, so it just like one people between the consumer and and the producer. Okay. So we will have um, a place to 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 sell to sell to produce and to sell for direct. In in our our own, it's is is maybe in our own store and a small store, and in this case. Hmm. Teacher, how do you say at the end of the conveniencia? What kind of stores are those? Oh, convenience store. De las tienditas de las de las ah, que los... convenience okay. store. Okay. Convenience store. Mm. Y así como supermercados. So, pero no supermercados como pequeños, no sé. They they they're called just like like uh mini super supermarket, supers. not like mini super. Okay. But like when they like gather very small quantities of something, mm -hmm. and they are not that big. Okay. okay so, thank you. So you're done. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So now every got everybody got the same uh information. Cause tomorrow this is gonna be the first thing that you're gonna be explaining to me in the class. Obviously, we're not gonna have time right now because it's like just two minutes for the class to finish. But tomorrow you will be very sharp, you know, in class and tell me, hey teacher, we're gonna sell this product. And these are going to be our customers. This is the channel we are doing. And this is the name of the product. 
this is the name of the store for attracting people fat people in your case <laughs> And yeah, things like that, right? Cool, you're done. Okay, nice, okay. sweet. Okay, uh, da, da, da. Uh, let me see. I wanna, I wanna see if everybody has already finished. It's basically time. Let's go back to the main section. I will tell you how we're gonna do tomorrow. Okay, with this. See you there. Okay. All right, guys, does everybody finish? For the rest of the groups, what about the, 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 the Christian group? Did you guys finish? Uh, not yet, but... Uh, but... We have an idea. Yes, we have an idea. <laughs> yeah, we have the idea. Hmm. You have the idea <laughs> and you're yes, going to have, sell me the idea. idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you have the idea and you're going to sell me the idea. All right. Huh. I am a, a very, very tough consumer, so you will have to convince me for that tomorrow. No, no, no. We're not going to do it right now because uh, we're going to take like, like half an hour to do that. By tomorrow, that's the first thing that we're going to be doing. Okay. So you know who you work with. So by tomorrow, I am going to gather you again just to give the final you know detail on your business and then you're going to explain to the whole class in here what is your business about what is the name of your business what's the product that you're selling what's the channel or channels that you are using in order for your product to be sold okay and what will be the target listen up the target a uh, consumer, right? Oh, el consumidor al que va dirigido, okay? So that will be. So, but we're going to do that by tomorrow, as I said. So, guys, if you had the idea for tomorrow, I want you to, you know, sharp that idea and become it real, to put it like that, okay? There you go. Before we go, guys, did you have any question? Uh, questions okay there you go yeah because i see some some faces right now like that uh, teacher we need to go to sleep me too i'm like kind of <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and pass the attendance list and we're gonna do that tomorrow okay we're gonna finish that as a presentation tomorrow so just let me pass the attendance list and that's gonna be everything uh carmen eugenia Definitely, she is not gonna continue. I guess she has never got connected. Uh, Christian Alejandro, present. Okay, excellent. Daniel uh, Archimedes, present. All right, Daisy Maricela, present. Okay, let me guess, Daisy. Uh, I had to tell you bad news to you. You're going to stay with me, Daisy, today. I mean, tonight. So don't go, okay? Edwin Alexander. Present. Ed, okay, perfect. Edwin Vladimir. Present. Perfect. Estela Mabel. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, excellent. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, nice. Jaime Antonio. Okay, so not here. Uh, Jose Eduardo. Present. But is Eduardo Jose. Jesus Christ, they have, they have no more fighting this. <laughs> okay, I will ask tomorrow, definitely, again, for uh, you to, <laughs> for them to modify your names or 
sorry, José Eduardo. No, mira, Eduardo José. <risa> ok, ok. Uh, Carla Lisset. Present. Ok, good. Kenia Cecilia. Present teacher. Ah, ok, good. You there. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. Present. Ok, excellent. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Uh, María Gabriela. Present. Ok, nice. Mary Raquel. Present. Ok, Noemí Betsabe. Present. Ok, nice. And the last one, Osvin Alexis. Present. Ok. Thank you for getting connected tonight, guys. Let's see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, so it's a time for us, Daisy. What do you do, Daisy? Where are you in? Daisy, you there? Daisy, are you there? Mm, apparently, you have uh, what internet problems, maybe? Yes, she has internet problems. So while she gets connected, because I think she is going to get connected because um, she's going to have the, the, the short feedback tonight. Uh, let's remember, guys, uh, for everybody, we were talking about basically uh, the distribution channels. We were talking uh, on the grammar part. We were talking about expressions of certainty. Let's remember that with these kinds of expressions, what we generally um, do is to use them when we want to assure something, okay? When we want to assure something. And uh, besides the ones that we got here, obviously there are more, all right, that we can use them to show uh that something is true something is real all right something that happened something that is happening or it's going to happen all right so it is very important for all the students to practice them and to use them and know how to use them all right within sentences besides that the last activity uh, that the students were doing it was related to uh, the distribution channels in which they were creating their own company okay or their own store right they were setting up the name of the stores they were uh, also looking for ideas on what to sell and which products uh, will be good for them to sell, right? Besides that, they were uh, talking about the different distribution channels that they will use in order for their products to be sold. And uh, they will, you know, like selecting also the type of uh, uh, clients they want to have, okay, for their business. And by tomorrow, they will explain that on the whole class you know to the whole class all right so that was basically the whole class about okay let's remember that when we talk about distribution channels you're talking about a compounds of channels that are very useful and uh, that enterprises or companies need in order for their products to be sold right 
And here in El Salvador, we have uh, different companies that we can serve as examples. Uh, for example, we have companies like Super Selectos, that those are huge companies in which um, they buy a lot of products and those products are distributed, right? Uh, all over the branches around the country, right? So in that case, we can say that the main distribution channel for these companies are the wholesale channel. Why a wholesale channel? Because they buy products in bulk, big quantities, and those products are, you know, distributed all over the branches around the country for them to be sold, right? So in that case, that's why it is considered that they use, right, the wholesale channel. And obviously they can make mixes as well because they don't only sell to the final consumer, you know, like the products that they distribute all over their companies, but they also uh, serve to retailers, right? To small stores, right? Where they can, you know, like sell the products to them and those retailer stores sell the products to the final consumer, right? So we were just discussing all those expressions, okay? And as I said, we were practicing also a conversation in which we put in practice the vocabulary that we were discussing during the class, vocabulary related to what? related to expressions of certainty, right? So that was part of uh, what we did during the class time tonight, right? Let's remember that besides talking about other distribution channels, we can talk also about, all right, about the people who compose or companies who compose uh, the distribution channels. For example, we have the retailers. Remember that a retailer is a company or person, to put it like that, because we can be a person as well, all right? That buys, listen up, that buys, uh, you know, like, products in a small quantities. So the, those type of businesses, right, uh, they can sell also goods to the public in very small quantities for use, right? So they buy to big companies and they sell the products to the final consumer in very low quantities. Then we have a consultant, Okay, let's remember that a consultant is a professional person or entity that you can use for give you for giving you advice about how to do on a business. Then we have a distributor. Remember that a distributor are generally those type of entities that distribute the product or different kinds of products that probably they uh, sell, okay? So that's what uh, a distributor means. And then we have a wholesaler. Let's remember that in this case, a wholesaler are those type of companies or entities that buy uh, products and services in bulk, right? And those uh, products are sold to you know resellers to put it like that or uh retailer companies okay so that is a wholesaler right and then we have a manufacturer's representative or basically this this can be a person or a entity okay 
that basically uh, belongs to a, a specific agent the, or company, right? That can sell or buy products, right? To customers or retailers or a wholesale uh, company, right? So all those terms have been practiced during the class time. Also, the canal, the the channel, the channels of distribution or distribution channels, right? And the exercises that the students, you know, were doing. So, basically, that's everything for tonight's class. And tomorrow, we will continue talking about the distribution channel. Okay. Bye bye.